This video is all about the influence of paper properties and sac design on the filling process. Of course, we're not talking about this kind of design. Rather, we're looking at other aspects such as de-aeration. During the filling process, high pressure builds up inside the sac. Therefore, it is very important to pay attention to sac de-aeration to ensure excellent performance. This is because fast filling time depends on high tensile strength and de-aeration. There are several factors that influence the de-aeration of the entire sac construction. The air resistance of the paper, the number of plies, the sac construction and, last but not least, the filling material and filling equipment. Let's turn to the three important measurement methods for checking air permeability and sac deaeration. Gurley tester, big gurley and mega gurley. The measuring unit for air permeability of a single paper layer is called gurley. The gurley tester measures how long it takes for 100 milliliters of air to pass through a sheet of paper at a defined pressure and area. A short time means high porous paper, good deaeration of the sac and thus short filling time. Let's move on to the next device and the next measuring unit, the big girly. With the big girly, we measure the airflow through the sac wall in cubic meters per hour at a pressure of 50 millibars. Big girly is influenced by the type of paper, high porous or not, the number of layers, possible perforation of these layers and, if present, barriers. And the last unit and device for measuring air permeability is the Mega Gurley. Mega Gurley characterizes the deaeration potential of the entire sac construction. At an interior pressure of 50 millibars, the deaeration of the entire sac is measured in cubic meters per hour. And as with the big girly, the higher the measured value, the better the sac deaeration and the faster the filling. And keep in mind, the girly tester tests the air permeability of one paper layer. The big girly tests the air permeability of multiple paper layers and that of any barriers that may be present. But of course, you should not only look at deaeration. Good deaeration can be achieved by using high porous paper or by perforating a paper that is not high porous. However, perforation reduces the strength properties of the paper and thus your sac by about 15% or more. And that's all concerning deaeration of the sac. For further information, please get in touch with us or visit our Mondi Go to Sac app.